music and inebriation go hand in hand. Humans have been singing about their libations since the times of the ancient Greek god Dionysus, and that hasn't changed at all today. Nowadays, musicians actually sing about their favorite cocktails, and this time we're going to go ahead and mix up three cocktails of the same name based on a single song by the Beastie Boys. Let's get started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Orange juice. It's one of the most common and popular cocktail mixes of all time. It's also despised by bartenders because it's so sweet and distinctive, with many bartenders preferring cocktails of lemon and lime. But if any drink makes a fresh squeezed orange juice a good mixture, then it's the Brass Monkey. The Brass Monkey is the name of many different cocktail and beer tail mixtures. Today, we're going to go ahead and show you how to make three of them. Starting with the beer tail version. Start with one half of a dark beer. I prefer a good milk stout myself because the chocolatey bitter flavor mixes better with the orange juice. Add in one half orange juice. The fresher, the better. Simple, no stirring required. And actually pretty good. Really surprised. Next, let's try the hood version of the cocktail. First, start with a malt liquor. Drink it down to the label. I prefer Colt 45, but Old English or Steel Reserve will do quite nicely. Next, open your favorite orange juice. Fill it nearly to the top. Not enough to spill over though. Then, gently swirl it. Never shake your bottle of orange juice and malt liquor. The carbonation will make it overflow. But gentle swirl is all you need. Take a sip. Sign the check. Julio, get the stretch. And finally, let's get the classic Brass Monkey cocktail. First, start with a shot of vodka. Regular vodka often makes the drink taste like a screwdriver with rum, so sometimes I'll abandon the regular vodka and opt for something a little more flavorful. Next, get a shot of dark rum. Gosling works wonders. Now if you want to opt for something a little more tropical, shoot for a rum that has a little more of a banana flavoring, or possibly a coconut flavoring too, maybe even a banana liqueur to spice it up. But you absolutely must go with the dark rum if you want to keep that classic brass coloring for the drink. Mix the shots together with one pot orange juice and serve over ice. And that's it. Three delicious brass monkeys. Done. And that's all the time we have for today's video, my spinners and sharks. If you enjoyed today's content and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hopefully you've survived my Gordon Ramsay impression and have an idea of which of the Brass Monkey cocktails you enjoy the most. Which one's your favorite recipe? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Next time, we're going to go ahead and discuss a different recipe for Vegas fun, or casino fun, I should say, because we're going to do a head-to-head -head with your Vegas casino compared to your locals casino. But until next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and, of course, happy spending, you guys. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva.